how to make a question and answer website using wordpress hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we'll be taking a look at how you can create your own question and answer website using wordpress so let's get into it now creating a question and answer website is super simple and you can create any kind of questionnaires with these simple plugins that i'm going to show you now the first thing you want to do is analyze what kind of question and answer website do you want. So if you're building a course, then you want to have, you know, a specific type of questionnaire, which is testing people. If you want a questionnaire just to, you know, get people's reviews, that would be a different kind of question and answer website. So this is something you want to keep in mind whenever you are building the question and answer website. Now, once you have that in mind, you can simply go into plugins and click on add new. Once you click on add new, you're just going to search for quiz and survey master. Now, Quiz and Survey Master is a all-in-one kind of plugin, which enables you to both create quiz-like question and answer websites as well as survey-like question and answer websites. So that is why I like to use this. Now, if you just search for question and answer, you can actually find other plugins that are more simpler, that are just simple question and answers. But we're going to be using Quiz and Survey Master. Now you're simply going to click on installed plugins over here. And once you click on installed plugins, you're going to scroll down and you will find quiz and survey master. And now you will simply click on activate and our plugin will now be activated. Now, once the plugin has been activated, you're simply going to go on ahead and click on the quizzes and surveys. And now you can click on the basic dashboard so you will have this appear on the left side with your navigation panel and you can click on your dashboard to just you know see the overviews then you can click on your settings over here to view the plugin settings so you can allow tracking you can set default quiz options as well so you can choose simple forms you can choose quizzes you can choose surveys and you can also optimize submission as well. But first we're going to begin by creating our first quiz or survey or questionnaire. So you're just going to click on quizzes and surveys over here and you will click on add new and you can use a simple theme or you can click on quiz settings and you can just enter the quiz name. Once you have the basic quiz name, you can enter what kind of form type are you creating. So is this a quiz? Is this a simple form? Or is this a survey? So let's say this is a simple form and you can enable contact form. So if you want to display a contact form before the quiz, so let's say we don't want to do that. And after that, we can enter a time limit as well. This is a simple form, so I don't want to do that. Then I don't want to require user login or disable first page on quiz or enable a comment box. I want this to be a simple form where people input information and I will just click on next. Then you have certain add-ons you can add. You don't need any of these so you can just click on create quiz. And once you do that, you can begin adding your pages. So from here, you're going to add your questions. So you can enter your question over here and you can choose the kind of answers that you want. So let's say that this is going to be a text answer. So instead of, you know, people having to enter a specific kind of answer, they can just enter their own text. So this is going to be a simple response answer. So just like that for this question type, users will see a standard input box or you can choose a paragraph as well. Now, after that, you can choose whether or not a question will be required. So I will say save question. None of my questions will be required questions. And you can also create multiple different categories within your question. So after that, you can click on over here and you can add correct answers or comment box if it is a quiz. Then after that, you can enter more questions. So you can click on create new question like this, and then you can choose what kind of answer do you want. So let's say we want a short answer and we will save our question. And then once you do that, you can simply click on create new page. And on the second page, you can enter your second questions. Now, after that, you can simply click on publish quiz and your quiz will be published. Now, other than your basic questions, you can also go into the contact section where you can enable to set up contact forms. So the basic information that the person needs to provide. Then you can also enter text options. You can enter basic optional settings for a quiz. And then you also have email result pages and style. 
Now, in your basic options, you can choose correct answer logic, so any correct answer or all correct answers, what kind of logic do you want to use when you are processing your quizzes, especially if you're entering quizzes in not simple forms. Then you also have round off scores if you want to allow round off scores. Then you can also enter start dates for specific quizzes and as well as descriptions. Then you also have quiz submission. So you can enter a specific time limit and you can also use for submit after timer expiry. So you can click on yes. So whatever the people entered until up to the quiz time limit, it would be submitted to you. Then you can add skip validations when time expires as well as limit attempts and limit entries as well then you also have your result pages over here where you can add new result pages or you know if you entered a multiple choice quiz you can just enter the result and this plugin will automatically process that and will give you the results how many answers they answered correctly or how many that they answered incorrectly and just like that, using this simple plugin, you can create as many questions and answers as you want, and you can publish them as soon as you would like. So you can click on over here to view the specific quiz as well. So you can click on view results to view the result that you have entered for this specific quiz, or you can just open up the sample quiz over here. And you can also embed this short code onto a different website or if you want to, you know, advertise your quiz somewhere or link it to your Instagram or Facebook, you can link that as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video